Well, good morning. Okay, so it is September 1st, and you're going to see this video after you see the original video, so you'll know that things have gone awry and are not <laughs> going any, anywhere near what I had planned. The window's down in the car, and the dew got all the seat wet. Um, the baler still broke down because... Lee didn't go where he was supposed to go yesterday and take care of it. So now another guy's going to try and fix it today. Um, he's off his meds on a rampage. Goats got out, chased them around. Um, figured out nobody's filling the one water trough over here. Um, so yeah, I've scrubbed that. Got my little scrubber. Scrubbed that and filled it. I did get my shower. Does that count? Okay. RJ just yeah. called and said that um, Bully Boy is kind of weak and he still has scours. So I'm heading out with a bottle with some vitamin, mineral, electrolytes, um, and some medication in it, some, an antibiotic called Teramycetin. Um, and RJ's grabbing the Corid and he is going to meet me out there and we're going to doctor some kids. Okay, so I'm out here. I've gotten everything done on, on my regular daily stuff except for the eggs collected, the barn, and the wool. Um, taking care of a couple other things. Um, I was on the phone with the Bureau of Land Management. We have some Mustangs, so we can't ignore their calls, and it takes a little bit to do what they need to do. RJ and Cody have gotten loaded out, and they're headed to Paul's Valley to rodeo and I am on bidet watch as any of you that follow know bidet is our cow and it stands for B apostrophe D-A-Y meaning birthday she was a birthday gift to RJ back in 2009 maybe a little older I don't know but I'm gonna turn the camera around and I will show you why we're on bidet watch she's got some mucus discharge we got her sprayed but that means I'll be coming out here a little more often and checking her so let me turn the camera around it's bidet bidet you. you gonna let me see huh she got fly sprayed today so hopefully the flies will leave her alone let's see here her bag is getting full and she's got some discharge there um we're hoping any time now, so we will keep you advised. She's got, um, we've already set up her pen. There's Mr. Zebu. Um, we've got her pen set up. Okay. Uh, and while I'm out checking bidet bidet, I will take this opportunity to do one of the several um, getting of poor boy up. So, a oh, big boy. Come on. What is it? RG calls him Gordy. I call him poor boy. Come on, poor boy. Let's go. Yes, it's looking good. Yeah, there he goes. And as you can tell, he can get up on his own. Come on. I know. I know. Yes. I know. And I don't have a bottle. Come on, let's move. Don't spin that way. There you go. Good boy. Come on. Let's see everybody else is over here hiding. And we're pretty much just moving, make him walk around get circulation to that leg back in it he starts out kind of flopsy and then it'll start to drain and then he'll um feel better and see now he's putting it's weight on it to harvest from the ladies all right i'm gonna get off here because it takes two hands especially for some of these that want to yell see <laughs> let me see and there we go. There's our first one. Got to get off here and do all of these boxes and a couple of spots in the barn. Okay, so Lee forgot to put in his hours at work and he has to go over and do that. It's 45 miles away. He'll be gone. Um, I'm going to go out and I've gotten most of my daily chores done. Hit and miss here and there. Plus all the other things that have gone on. Plus checking the day. But I'm going to go out and haul in, hopefully, the last of the hay that is already built up. Um, by then, we're hoping that Lee has the baler fixed and can get on it and 
bail the rest of it so I can get it hauled in. Okay, I've got my handy dandy water, my tea, and my trusty hay hook. And I'm out here in amongst the hay. And I don't have a tripod, so unfortunately, you're pretty much just gonna see it in clips. Here we go. Okay, loading them, just clearing as I go, putting them on the trailer, pull forward a little bit, and just keep going down the road. Okay, so I'm driving home. I was last out in the hay field. I got a phone call from an elderly neighbor, and he has a cow that had prolapsed. And I, uh, of course, Lee and RJ are both gone, so, I rallied the neighbors. I called a couple of friends who owe us a couple of favors and I sent them out to take care of this elderly man is, is a staple in our community. He hates to ask for favors, but I don't. Um, I don't want him at 87 years old out there doing, you know, uh, sewing up a prolapse cow by himself. Um, all I'm good for is shoving it back in. I have problems with the needles and all that. I can sugar it and, and uh, put it back in there, but I can't make it stay so uh, the vet was unreachable as you know we have a, a problem with vets in our area and they, they just don't um, there's not a whole lot of them around here and there's one or two trying to cover every call that comes in so I am back at the house I have one lo uh, one level one flat of hay on the trailer and yes I took off and went to the neighbor's house with it on there um, so I'm gonna get back to hauling hay He's got it under control. He'll call me if he needs anything else. Uh, but pretty much all I managed to do is rally all the neighbors and get them together and to help this man. So I'm um, back in business doing the hay. Okay, time to see what we got in here. Uh, not much change, a little discharge. They can do discharge up to a day or so before. Oh, she's expelling bowel which she'll do that before she um, gives birth. So it, it doesn't mean anything one way or another. All right, once I get a load, I back it in the barn and I'm gonna have to have Jethro move. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna keep right on stacking. <laughs> I'm gonna bet she's got her little nest over there, and looky there, another egg. So I'll be picking up eggs out of here too. So now I'm gonna get to unloading. Okay, so I've got a few more bales to get off the trailer and stacked over here. There's Miss Yang. Um, but as soon as I do that, I'm going to take a break because I still have about 40 out in the pasture to do, which is going to be two loads for me, and I'm already hot, sticky. That fan over there is definitely not getting the air here. I have to keep the doors closed because, if you'll look, the little vultures there are just waiting to get in. Okay. Coming around to check here. Yeah. Still a little mucus. All right, so come along with me as we see Sweetie outside the gate where RJ didn't let the horse gate from taking the horse through when he went to the rodeo. Um, if you look, it's not wired, it's not anything. So, huh, wonder how she got out. Not. I'm gonna go get her off the street and bring her back around. Come on, Sweetie. Come on. And she never cooperates, so I don't know that I can do this with the camera in my hand. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Oh. And of course she wanted to make a liar out of me. I'm happy with that. Yeah, what are you doing out? So, I'm going to wire this gate shut like it should be. And then I'm going to go in and get me something to drink. Okay, so I'm headed out to the pasture in the car this time because Lee needs the car to jump start the tractor. And then I will be walking my little keister back to the house 
which is an eighth of a mile. So I will two eight three eighths of a mile. Three I don't know. It's too far for me to worry about, but I'll be walking back. So it'll be a little bit. It's probably six o'clock. And it just dawned on me that I have not taken time to eat anything. Um because if you remember a minute ago, I was going to go in and get a break. Yeah, that's not happening. So, um, and of course, I've got plenty of dogs to help me. And plenty of gates to get through. So, I will be back in just a little bit. Well... You might join in on the walk home, see what happens. Okay, so this is a much better view. Um, we're almost to the back. That's exactly one half mile from the house. So I will be hiking a half mile back up to the house so that I can continue my work. Okay, so plans have changed. I've um, taken two seconds to make you a video. I have, it has started raining and I have quite a few bales to get in off the pasture. I am working my butt off here. The next round of rain is supposed to be at one o'clock, so I am going to work right on through, haul my butt to get everything off this pasture and try and save the hay. Okay, so guys, I'm out here in the field. We have a break from the rain, and we're gonna do what I call flip and tip. There's no way I can haul in all these that he bailed without checking the weather first. It's better to save the hay that's flat, and I'm gonna save all these bales. They're gonna be discolored if it rains on them, but I will save them all. We're gonna go around, we're gonna make one round around the pasture. Everything will be um, either hauled in or set in a teepee. And I'm gonna walk over there and try and show you one teepeed. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because it's not gonna have like the light. I don't know how to do this. Okay, Let me try this. so I've got my little light on. This is called teepeed. You put the two wires out and you teepee them up against each other. There's literally hundreds of bales and you can tell Leah's, well, I guess you can't tell because you can't really see, but we're gonna make them all like this or haul them all in this trip. So it's gonna be a long trip, but we're gonna get it done and we're gonna save every one of them. Okay, it is 11.40, 11.30, 11.40, someplace in there. Um, I'm giving out and the only thing I didn't get done today was the wool and I didn't get all the hay moved in but I got it all teepeed so um, it's going to be fine uh, the rain I hate to say this but I'm hoping it doesn't come but if it does everything will be fine so I'm headed out to bed night all